It's the same question that he get a lot. Do I have to go to church to be a Christian? I'm going to answer it again, but in a little different way. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. This is the question that I get often, often. And, um, and I've answered it quite a bit. I've talked a lot about church. I've talked a lot about the, the pros and cons. And, and I've told you that I'm not anti-church, but I really have a problem with a lot of organized churches today. And here's the question. Dear Pastor Bob, I was saved when I was 16. Never been a fan of organized religion. I pray and speak to Jesus daily. However, I've never found a home in a church. Is this wrong? I have a pastor tell me that you have to go to church. Well, he's right, but let's define it. Again, church is not a building, not a building. The definition of church in the New Testament are people getting together to talk about the Lord, to celebrate their faith. That's what it's really all about. And it wasn't until the, the third and fourth century that actually church started meeting in the building. And today that's pretty standard, but it wasn't then. Why? Well, we feel like when we have something that is important to us, we have to kind of organize the heck out of it. <laughs> That's kind of our human nature, I think. And I'm that kind of person too. I live a very organized life. I run a very organized ministry. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of that organized guy. It's part of the leadership thing, I think, but it's part of who I am. I love to organize and put things together. And there are a lot of people like me out there that have probably created this church structure thing that we kind of, that's kind of smothering a lot of people today. And we've lost our way. We really have. You see, church was when people got together and celebrated their faith. And it can be a variety of things. It can be in a building. There's nothing wrong with that. But it isn't exclusive to that. But here's the biggest problem. Church, again, is not a spectator sport. Church is something where you get involved with other people. If you're simply going and listening to somebody preach and then go back home, that's a spectator sport. And there's nothing wrong with that either, but that's really not church. Church is the body of Christ getting together and interacting with one another, using your spiritual gifts together, building each other up, getting involved in each other's lives, spurring each other on, like the Bible says, towards love and good deeds. It's kind of important. Is church important? Absolutely. But let's talk about how it can be done. You know, yesterday, I had some of the guys here. Uh, you know, uh, Chris and Don from the So What podcast, you know, Scott from from uh, 45 RPM, and they were here and a bunch of other people as well. And, you know, I, I love it when everybody sits around the table here with me and we really have church. We we talk, we share our lives, we, we, uh, we share scripture, we share, you know, things that we're doing. Chris and I are, by, by the way, are writing a book, and so we talked about some of the things that will be in that book, and it's really on this subject, on church. But that's church. We went out to eat at my favorite Chinese restaurant, Koi. <laughs> and everybody sat around the table, and we had church. Do you see what I'm getting at? When the body of Christ is together, and we celebrate our faith together, and we build each other up together, that's what church is is all about. I think a lot of times we get caught up in the definitions. There are a lot of people that are actually doing church, just not going to an organized church, and they're made to feel very guilty when they don't. And I can, can I be very honest? Sometimes pastors want you to go to church because they'd like to have your tithe money. 
they like to build the structure larger. But if they were really interested in you the way they should be, they'd also be creating ways for you to interact with other people. And it wouldn't just be the spectator sport on the stage. And many churches are like that. Sunday, you listen to the pastor, but there's all kinds of things during the week. I think that's great. But I do think we have to be careful with what we plug into. Should you attend a church that's only a spectator sport? I don't believe you should, because I think you need more than that. I don't think it's a biblical uh, example of what Christ was talking about. But folks, how do you do church? Well, you grab some other Christians and you spend some time together in a restaurant, in a park, in your home, in an organized church building, whatever it might be. But you see, the point is not where you're at, it's what you're doing. And what you're doing is defined in the Bible. It talks about people getting together, people spending time together. Acts chapter 2, verse 42 says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the breaking of bread, to fellowship, and to prayer, four things. That's really what church is. Teaching, we have that now. We have the apostles' teaching in the Bible. All we need to do is just share it with each other. The apostles' teaching, the breaking of bread, communion, just celebrating communion together. Fellowship getting together, enjoying, it says later on in that same chapter, enjoying the favor of the people, enjoying being together and prayer, praying for one another, praying to, to hear God's voice, all of that. And the Bible says, and their numbers were being added to daily, <laughs> thousands of people as they were getting saved, because you see, this works. It's something that everybody needs. It's something that you need and that I need. So can you just stay home and be a Christian? Yeah. Can you just stay home and be a vibrant Christian? No. A growing Christian? No. You need the fellowship of other Christians because you're not complete in yourself. You have a set of spiritual gifts and so does everybody else. And when we get together, we have all the spiritual gifts and we have the balance that we need to grow in our faith. And you need encouragement. That's so important. And there are times we get discouraged and there's no one around. And that's why a lot of people lose their faith, so to speak, or abandon their faith or walk away from their faith or get mad at God or et cetera, et cetera. If you were plugged into a really good fellowship with people who are encouraging you, that doesn't happen. Somebody goes after you. Somebody prays through with you. Somebody puts their arm around you. Somebody gives you some correction, whatever it might be. There are all kinds of spiritual gifts that begin to get you to that next place where you need to be. And it's done, the Bible says, with love and compassion. That's what we're all looking for, isn't it? So is church an option as a Christian? No. Do you have to be... Do you have to go to church to be saved? No. But you do need to have church, that fellowship with believers, to grow as a Christian. That's important. This was a long podcast. I have a lot to say. And I'm sure I'm not done. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day.